My name is Chris Roth, and I'm the commercial manager for Cryo Preservation Equipment. And today we're gonna to walk through a review of the Cryo Plus accessories and recommendations on configurations so you can get the most out of your Cryo Plus unit. The Thermoscientific Cryo Plus sample storage system is a great option for increasing valuable laboratory storage space. The Cryo Plus units are capable of storing up to 38,500 vials and a wide variety of optional racks, canisters, frames, and risers that allow you to create an organized inventory system that provides optimum storage in liquid or vapid phase. Today we're going to review some of the available Cryo Plus accessories and discuss how to best select products for your storage needs. When selecting Cryo Plus accessories, it's important first to decide on the method in which you intend to store the samples. Are you going to store samples in a liquid or vapor phase? This will help determine specific accessories to fit your needs and maximize storage capacities. If you plan on storing your samples in vapor phase, you'll want to consider getting a platform riser to ensure your racks and samples are held above the liquid nitrogen level. Platform risers are available in convenient 3.5, 4, and 5 inch heights depending on your preferred liquid nitrogen levels. As you can see demonstrated here, the riser is placed in the unit first and a platform is placed on top of the riser to give you a rised flat base that then you can arrange your racks on. If you prefer to keep your samples in a liquid phase, you will not need the riser and would simply arrange your storage racks in the bottom of the chamber. For the next step in the accessory selection process, you'll need to determine in what format you'll be storing your samples. Are you storing your samples in vials or are you storing your samples in bags? Making the decisions on vials or bags will dictate whether you'll need cryo boxes or canisters to hold your vials or bags respectively. An example of a storage bag and its arrangement within a canister will now be demonstrated to show you how the canister can help to keep the bag flat and contained. Once the bag is inserted and fixed within the canister, it can then be placed in a larger frame with other canisters to provide a high capacity organized storage format. Platform dividers are also recommended if you intend on storing bags and canisters and frame arrangements within the Cryo Plus units. A list of divider units can be found within the Thermal Scientific Cryo Preservation Storage Equipment brochure and correspond to the Cryo Plus unit that you have and specific frames that can be accommodated for each Cryo Plus unit size. Frames are available in liquid and vapor phase versions and risers are also available for those intending to store samples in vapor phase. If you have decided that your samples are best stored in vials, you'll need to identify the size of the vials that you'll be using to store samples, as these will directly correlate to the size and capacity of the cryo boxes you'll need. You can use the tables in the Thermoscientific Cryo Preservation Storage Equipment brochure to identify the vial size you'll be using. You will then see options for configurations and capacities that are available. The table also confirms the number of specific racks that can be contained within any of the Cryo Plus 1, Cryo Plus 2, Cryo Plus 3, or Cryo Plus 4 units. Both the liquid and vapor phase racks for the vials also conveniently include cardboard boxes and dividers, so there's no confusing next steps in selecting boxes to go with your racks. Most of the vial and cryo box options are offered in horizontal storage orientations, but if you would prefer to store your cryo boxes in vertical positions, there are options available for both liquid and vapor phase storage states. In addition, there are diagrams illustrating the most efficient organization of racks to maximize capacity within your specific Cryo Plus unit. In addition to these standard storage solutions, there are also a number of specialty storage options. If you have a Cryo Plus 1 unit and are using vials to store your samples, there is an arrowhead rack system that is designed to maximize every inch of your cylindrical storage space. As you can see, these racks are triangular or pizza slice shaped. They're designed to be arranged with the point or arrowhead side inward. The boxes for these racks are shaped like the racks themselves so they can hold 81 vials per box. The system prioritizes efficient use of space and maximizes the number of vials that can be stored in the unit. Like the other racks, the arrowhead racks are available in liquid phase or vapor phase options. And just as a reminder, the arrowhead racks and box options are only available for the Cryo Plus One unit. Another specialty rack and box system accommodates smaller boxes. This is a convenient solution for users who need to get into samples more frequently and want a more flexible option in accessing samples without exposing large number of vials to repeated temperature fluctuations. These smaller boxes are designed to accommodate 1.5 to 2 ml vials and can hold 25 vials per box. The number of racks and recommended configuration depends upon the CryoPlus 1, 
cryo plus two, cryo plus three, or cryo plus four unit that you have. These smaller box racks options are available in liquid phase versions only. The final racks we'll be discussing today are specialty racks that couple with the Thermoscientific Matrix 2D2s. If you're looking for a secure traceable solution, the Matrix 96 format 2D barcode storage tubes that are specifically designed to be stackable with an attached lid fit nicely into any automated liquid handling system and high through output application. The list of specialty racks to accommodate these tubes and boxes is shown here and recommended configurations based on the CryoPlus unit is illustrated as well. The racks for the Matrix 2D tubes are available in both liquid and vapor phase options. So that concludes our walkthrough on the accessories and configuration recommendations for the CryoPlus units. I hope you have found this to be helpful in your purchasing decision making process or in maximizing capacity of your existing units. If you have any questions, please reach out to your thermoscientific sales representative or customer service and we'll be happy to assist.